Hello plant parents, very good afternoon in this very hot summer and I'm sure many of you must be struggling to keep your babies alive. Is it? If you're not sure how your plant's doing or you're not able to take care of it, do watch all the first four episodes on the basics of gardening and Anukinuske where I'll talk about the science of gardening and how to keep your babies healthy and make them bushier. Uh, in all the weather conditions. I have in my previous episodes talk about water, what sort of water levels you should have, uh, the TDS and Ed, how the RO versus tap water versus the uh, uh, AC water is there and which are the important uh, elements to look at while you're watering your plants. In my second episode I talked about soil and how important it is to manage the pH of it and how we at Nurturing Green while growing commercial growing make sure that every time we have the food plants growing they have the perfect right 6.5 to 7 pH. And today the third most important element which I'll be talking about which everybody of us as a home gardener makes a mistake on is placement. Exactly. You know, where do we put a plant defines two important elements in the environment. The first is the light levels and second is the temperature. Let me first touch the second part of it. When I say the placements, it defines what temperature levels your plants are at. So for example, right now I'm sitting here inside. Uh, right now the temperature here is around a room temperature of 22 to 25 because the AC is on. When I keep it outside, the temperature today is at 46 degrees. Right, so if you are anywhere in the North Indian belt or wherever you have seen the fluctuations happening in your geography, a very important thing which you have to see is that you are not doing the fluctuations in the temperatures and that is defined by the placement of your plants. So where you, wherever you put your plants defines the temperature. Another very important aspect in the placement and the temperature is where have you bought these plants from. So for example, if you buy it from Nurturing Green, they're grown indoors and they're grown into the temperatures of 20 to 30 degrees which means when you bring them indoors and put it in your tables and corner tables and in, in, in your indoor environment they don't go for a shock because they're grown in that 20 to 30 uh, temperature levels uh, so a very important element when i see so these are all my indoor plants and i make sure all of them are put in indoors uh, i prefer the window sills uh, because uh, that's a perfect because it not just manages the temperature, it also manages the light, which I'll talk about it. Uh, so the temperature, as I said, just make sure whenever you're placing your plant anywhere across, the temperature should be an important element to watch out for. Uh, a lot of people tell me a lot of times, my mom comes and says, right? which is a good thing because you give a higher light levels and a lot of times the plants are uh, at a very lux, lower lux levels. But a way blunder we do is we give a temperature shock to our plants. I just did this last week, you know, in one of the experiments and my plant died in just two days, not even seven days. They just dried it down because it's so hot. The temperature is at 46 degrees right now in Delhi. And uh, that's the reason the plant will die. And you will see a lot of people have comes to us and say, Hamaya plant, you know, salmon the over and this is the reason actually that either you don't manage the water or the soil or the placement or the plant food and most of the time in this scenarios is the placement because you, you go for a temperature shock so you indoor plants ko outdoor kar dete ho, outdoor plants ko indoor kar dete ho, or temperature shock mar a lot of time people buy from a local nurseries the plants indoor plants actually are grown at a very high lux uh, or a very high temperature levels and when they go for a, again for a temperature shock it has happened uh, also that a uh, uh, lot of time that when i bring these plants to my balcony uh, they have died or not have thrived right my all my indoor plants i make sure that i keep them indoors and they are at a temperature of 20 to at max at 30 degrees uh, second important element is the light now the unit of light is lux and uh, when we grow in a commercial sense when we grow the indoor plants we make sure that they are grown into a thousand to max two thousand lux levels which means that uh, 
this is the light when they are growing up and when they have grown and they come to us uh, you know they are they are accustomed to this light levels if you buy it from very local nurseries uh, you know you'll see that they are grown outdoors uh, indoor plants so they are they are actually uh, accustomed to a higher 10000 to 12000 lux levels and suddenly when you bring them on your center tables or your kitchen or your your washrooms or your offices uh, they go for a for a lux shock or a light shock right they're not able to do the right photosynthesis because they were doing the photosynthesis one at 12000 20000 12 to 20000 lux lux levels and suddenly you brought them to 500 to 1000 lux levels and that's why every time you buy uh, these plants especially the indoor plants you question your uh, nursery that where are they grown at um are they grown indoors and what are the lux level they are if he is able to answer it and check it i think that's the right point to go now coming back when you are it's uh, when the babies are at your home and you're doing it make sure that uh, they are basically uh, indoor plants are kept indoors and at a light level which is at lux 1000 levels uh, i have this uh, free uh, app called light meter it's available on ios and android anywhere i have it on my phone uh, i check it from my my uh, device also but uh, you don't have to buy this for for it you can easily check it from the from your uh, phone only your your phone sensors uh, camera sensors have the capability to capture the lux levels uh, so for example here let me see this is facing toward this light this plant is actually getting if i change uh, so if i put it like this it gets up to 1200 lux levels uh, it changes to as high as 2000 also if i bring it towards the sun i mean towards the window sill right uh, if i put it here uh, the light level here is 1200 so mostly the light on this region is very good and that's why my palms or my indoor plants survive very good because they get a optimum light to manage their photosynthesis and that's what you also have to see that whenever you you are growing your uh, indoor plants or even outdoor plants uh, manage the placements of it in case you guys are confused is my plant an indoor plant or an outdoor plant and uh, what lux level i should put it or what placement i should put it you can click the photo of your plant and put it on my on our my plant my baby facebook page and also on the comments on this youtube channel and we'll guide you uh, with that placement to uh, tell you which type of a plant it is and where you should put it uh, i actually we are not able to define where have you bought this from if you have bought it from nurturing green uh, and uh, the placement is there you should put it uh, they're grown definitely they're grown indoors if they are indoor plants uh, uh, into a lower lux so you also put them into a lower lux only which is at 1000 to 1500 uh and i'll show you uh, in my house various uh, light levels on why where i have put all my plants on but if you really want to have a no calculation thing always keep it at a window sills most of the time even if it's a east facing or a west facing or a you know where you get a bright light also uh if there is a ac the temperature is managed and your light levels will be at 1000 to 2000 at max 2500 uh in in the indoor areas if it's a well lit house then it will go to a 4000 which is also okay uh, but most of the time 4000 means that there is a very strong bright light also direct coming in which means the temperature or the heat will go up which again you have to manage it by cooling the the room by using acs or other processes or the coolers so that's my nuska number 3 uh, where uh, I talked about the placement uh, and if you want to grow all the healthy babies along with me just make sure you follow all the four steps uh, in the four episodes I've talked about uh, and if you follow all of them you will definitely have a very healthy babies and I have them we commercially grow them so we know that it will come out very well if you're doing these four things right thank you for watching uh, Uh, this episode of Anukenuske I'll be again coming on next Sunday to you and talking about the plant food uh, which is also the fourth and the most last most important uh, element in the basics of growing healthy plants uh, okay so my baby is crying i think it's time to go out and take care of my other baby uh, all right thank you for watching uh, my plant my baby do subscribe to our channel 
uh, and if you like our uh, updates on Instagram or you want to know more about plants, just subscribe to our Instagram update. Say hello there to me and I'll know that if you have liked our video or not. You know, just tell us so that I can keep changing the content or you know maybe maybe tell you more about it. So give me your feedback. I'll wait for this in the comments below. Thank you guys. See you. Bye bye. Do subscribe to our channel, My Plant My Baby on YouTube, and also follow us on Instagram and Facebook.